जसवंत हैव यू डन द होमवर्क बेटा विच आई शेयर मैंने अटेम्प्टेड द टेस्ट यू हैव अटेम्प्टेड द टेस्ट एंड व्हाट अबाउट यू प्रीता मैंने उस आप से किया बेटा काइंडली अटेम्प्ट एंड टुडे देयर इज नो फिजिक्स क्लास ओके सो प्लीज अटेम्प्ट द टेस्ट टुडे देयर इज नो फिजिक्स क्लास व्हाट टुडे इज देयर नो फिजिक्स क्लास no today is no physics class your today's class will be on saturday it will be compensated okay on saturday okay beta yes ma'am yes see uh, the practical problem which we have done on uh, saturday well, then i will start next chapter in chapter 6 first of all we have study about what is sets where well defined collection of objects is called sets beta right well defined collection of sets and types of sets how many sets were there just one tell me prita yes ma'am types of sets singleton universal yes equal and empty empty set yes null set and there were two types of, uh, in two ways you can represent a set first is roster form and second set is set builder. set builder form next we have studied about the union intersection right and complement of the sets complement of set is basically remove the elements of set a from the universal set this was the complement set right and then after that after union this what we have study about the intervals right and then cardinal number cardinal number is cardinal number is number of element elements yes number of elements in the given sets given set so on the basis of this cardinality uh, n a union b is equal to n a plus n b minus n a intersection b and this we have derived from the formula from the venn diagram also we have studied the venn diagram right this is your set a and this is your set b and this is your universal set this whole universal set this is a minus b this structure is b minus a and this is a intersection b beta yes ma'am right and this whole part is a union b clear now see suppose you have given questions like this see from in a group of 400 people question is in a group of 400 people 250 can speak Hindi. Two hundred can speak Pritam, you are asking something, beta? Yes, ma'am. Like what? Yes. Is... Okay, ma'am. Understood. Okay. Two hundred can speak English. Then how many can? How? many can speak 
English and Hindi both. So children, suppose first of all, there are two things, Hindi and English, right? So you can write let A represents Hindi language and B represent English language. Okay, Vida? Now 250 can speak in Hindi. It means the number of elements in A is equal to 250. And now 200 can speak English. That means the number of elements in set B is 200. Now see, how many can speak English and Hindi? Both. So and what they have used, it means it represents intersection. Clear? So you have to find A intersection B, value of A intersection sets of, okay? And this in a group of 400 people. So that means this is A union B. This is 400. Clear, Vita? Now apply this formula. And A union B is equal to Na plus Nb minus an A intersection B. Now A union B is 400. And A is 250. And B is 200 minus number of elements in A intersection B. Just solve them. 400 is equal to 450 minus number of elements in A intersection B. Now number of elements in A intersection B will be 50. Clear, Vita? That means 50 people can speak English and Hindi both. Understood? Jaswan, Preeta? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now with the help of Venn diagram. See. Now Venn diagram is first of all draw a rectangle. Okay. Then draw two circles because one is for English language and other for Hindi language. Clear? Now next is this is your set A. This is your set B. Now A union B means this. This is 400 people. Got it this thing? Now in this how many are there? 250? 250 na this total. This total is 250. See, this is 250 and this is 200. So, beta, at least 200 will lie in both and you have to find this 400 is total. So, it means 400 is total. So, it means you have to subtract this intersection for finding this. So, it will be 50. So, it is 200, it is 200 and this is 150. Understood? Yes, ma'am. I am explaining again. See. This whole set is 400. Clear? This is 200. So, this contain 200. And this contain 250. So, what is common if you are balancing them? 200 and 250. So, if you are balancing them, so suppose if I am balancing them, it will be 150 and it will be 200, 200. So, that means 50 will be the intersection, means common. Got it my point? So, therefore, after adding this, this is your 200 and this will be your 150. That means uh, 200, 150, 400. So, this will be your intersection 50. Okay, Vita? Pritam Jaswant understood? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Dhanunjay? Understood, Vita? Yes, ma'am. Understood. Okay. Dhanunjay, have you attempted today's test? Yes, ma'am. I attempted. 
ओके एंड वन मोर थिंग चिल्ड्रन प्रीता टुमोरो एंड आफ्टर डे टुमोरो देर विल बी नो मैथ्स क्लास बेटा ओके टू कम्पनशेट दीज क्लासेस ऑन वेडनेसडे थर्सडे एंड फ्राइडे I have taken your compensatory class, compensation class on uh, Saturday itself of two hours. Okay, even I have dropped that message also. But on daily basis, I will post your homework as well as your test also. So you have to do your test as well as homework. Clear, beta? Okay, ma'am. Okay. So these type of children, uh, these type of questions, Pritham, we have done on uh, Saturday. Now with this. We have completed our chapter six. Now come to next chapter, that is relation and functions. Now we will uh, we have to increase our speed, beta. Okay, because we have spent so much time on the chapter six. It was quite new. Now see relation and function. What do you mean by relation? Suppose if I will ask you that x is a square of y, that means there is a, some relation between x and y, na? Yes, x is a square of y, or you can say that line L is perpendicular to M. So again, there is relation. That means this line makes ninety degree angle. L is perpendicular. Okay, so so there are special type of relation also that is called functions, and in this chapter we will do briefly. Okay, so first of all, one term came ordered prayer. Ordered prayer. So what do you mean by ordered prayer? An ordered pair is a pair of objects taken in order. Now, so suppose relation and functions. Set some relation was there, na? Chapter one. Hmm. Yes, it is a part of that only. But in eleventh class, you will get this separate chapter. Okay. Relation and function. Okay, ma'am. Right. So yes, in order pair. Yes, beta. Today there is no uh, like physics class, right? No, no physics class would be there. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. An ordered pair. What do you mean by ordered pair? An ordered pair is a pair of objects taken in a specific order. Suppose, like in Cartesian plane. So two coordinates are there, x and y. So this is a, it's a ordered pair, na? That first you have to write x uh, x coordinate only then. Y coordinate. So this is called ordered pair. So in this Can relation and functions it? also, yes, beta. Can you repeat it? Yes. See in Cartesian plane. So Cartesian plane only involves x and y axis coordinates, beta. Right. So mm -hmm. how will you represent a represent coordinate of any point? So you will always follow this now x comma y. Always okay. you are mentioning the coordinate of x first. Then coordinate of y, so one comma two, right, beta? Pritham Jaswal. Yes, ma'am. Dhanunjay. So in this also relation and functions, we have to follow this ordered pair. So suppose ordered pair A B, you will follow this A B, A B or C D or X comma Y. So A is called first member. Or you can say component. Okay, A is called first member, and B is called second member. First member and okay. Or for member, you can use this word component. Okay, here also first component. component. Clear, beta. Just one, Dhanunjay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now see, if I am talking about the equality of ordered pair, equality of ordered pair, ordered pair. right? So, see, ordered pair means equality. So there will there must be two ordered pair. 
So suppose if I have taken A comma B is equal to C comma D. Right? And this will happen only if and only if A will be equal to C and B will be equal to D. See, this first coordinate will be equal to this and second component will be equal to second component of second order. Understood this thing? Ma'am, what if A is equal to C but B is not equal to D? B is not Y. Like what if? Then they will be not equal. They will not be equal then. For ordered pair uh, to be equal, their each and every component should be equal. Understood? Yes. Right. Suppose. I am taking your point only, Pritam. See. Suppose two ordered pair you are having the ordered pair A, B and B, A are different. See. I have changed their places. A, B and B, A are different. Unless a is not equal to B. Got it my point? Yes, ma'am. Because here I have changed my order. Clear, yes, beta? Okay. Okay. Suppose, dekho, I am telling you. See, I am explaining. Ordered implies that order in which two elements of the pair occur to be meaningful. Suppose, for example, if we have a socks and a shoe. Okay? And if we are in order, we are putting on it doesn't matter but in fact there are so situation in which order is important and essential so if you are pairing if you are putting your socks and shoe like this that uh, uh, under the shoe you are keeping your uh, socks right or you are just throw your uh, socks on your shoes so there uh, these two uh, situations are different now beta right Yes, yes. Pritam, Jaswant and Dhanunja. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Okay, now next is Cartesian product of sets. See, it is quite important. Cartesian product of sets. Cartesian product of two sets. Suppose, okay, see, let A and B be two empty sets and then the set of ordered pair. If A and B are B and E, two non empty sets. Then the sets of all ordered pair, ordered pairs A, B, for all, this symbol I have already told you, this symbol is used for for all. A belongs to capital A and B belongs to capital B. Here uh, I can write instead of this small a and small b, capital A and capital A. Okay. Now this is your ordered pair. So this A belongs to this set A and this small b is belongs to capital B. Okay. Then it's can called the it Cartesian product. Yes, beta. Can you repeat that? See, if A and B any two non-empty set. Suppose if you are having two non-empty set, A set contain one, two element mm -hmm. and four. B set contain three, four. Right? Mm -hmm. yes, so here, one will belongs to A na, and three will belongs to B. Yes, ma'am. Because three is the element of B. So in this way also, A and B be two non-empty sets. The... Empty set, then 
the set of all ordered pairs. Suppose I have make ordered pair A comma B for all A belongs to A and B belongs to B. That means the first coordinate will belongs to set A and second second component belongs to set B. Clear, Jaswa, Pritam, Jaswan, Dhanunjay. Like we can get over here ordered pair. Ordered pair means ordered one. pair means firstly you have to write means... the elements of A, then elements of B. See, I will I will explain through example also. So it's called Cartesian product. Is called Cartesian product of A and B. And uh, mathematically, we can write it as A cross B. Cartesian product I have written here. So, A cross B. Now, see for example, suppose let A is equal to 1, 2, 3. Ma'am, ma'am, one doubt. Yes. Which you written or the definition, what is the meaning of that sign which you... What? The, like... Like after A, B, the coordinates you did one sign now. What is it? Your voice is not clear, Vita. See, I have written here if A and B be two non empty set, mm -hmm. like this. See, I have written here let A is equal to 1, 2, 3. So this is non empty set, right? It contains the element. Clear? Yes. In B's uh, set, I have uh, supposed 3, 4. I have taken this set 3, comma. Again, this is non empty set. Because it contains element. Then the set of all ordered pair A, B. Means this A, B. So A cross B. So how will you write this ordered pair? See, you will uh, 1. Just make ordered pair with 1. So first of all, 1 comma 3. Then 1 with 4 also, 1 comma 4. Then with 2, 2 comma 3. Then 2 comma 4. And then 3 comma 3. And 3 comma 4. Pritam, now understood, Pita? What do you mean by this ordered pair AB? Means mm. one element of A set and second element of B set. See, if I am taking here one element of, uh, one is the element of A, then 3 is the element of B. So, this is the ordered pair 1 comma 3. Then come to mm. this 2, 2, one element of B, then one element of this. Understood? Okay. So, you have to one make pairing. One of each we should take. Yes. Understood now? Yes, ma'am. Dhanunja? Just one, understood? Yes, ma'am, understood. Okay. Yes, ma now see vice versa. If I'm, uh, if I will, we will calculate the B is your 3, comma 4 and A is your A set is 1, 2, 3. Now suppose we have to find Cartesian product of BA. So, how will you make C3, comma 1? Just tell children. 3, comma 2, 1, 3, 3. Then, four, comma come one. to this 4, 4, 1. Then, four, 4, 2, 4, 3. Right? Now, children, A cross B. Is not equal to B cross A. You even you can check because their orders are different. See, in first order, it is 1, comma 3, and here is 3, comma 1. So both are different because their places are interchange. Understood my point, Peter? Yes, ma'am. But number of elements will be same. See, N. Number of elements, if I am putting here N, this alphabet N, if I am writing is uh, in uh, prefix of any set, it means number of elements. So, count how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? Now, count mm -hmm. number of elements in B cross A. Count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, both are equal. It means the cardinal number of A cross B will equal to cardinal number of B cross A. a. Clear children? Yes, now yes, I guess this point is clear to all. Yes. Right? Or you can find your cardinal number how? 
सी एन ए क्रॉस बी नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट इफ इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू काउंट सो इन नंबर ऑफ इन ए सेट हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स वर देयर थ्री थ्री सो यू विल राइट हेयर थ्री मल्टीप्लाई नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन बी टू टू सो थ्री टू जा सिक्स क्लियर नाउ इन एन बी क्रॉस ए अगेन इन बी हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स आर देयर टू एंड इन ए सेट थ्री सो इट विल बी सिक्स सो वी हैव गॉट द सेम नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन ए क्रॉस बी एंड बी क्रॉस Gotted my point, Pritham, Jaswant and Dhanunjay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. May I proceed to next, beta? Have you written? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Now suppose, beta. A cross B never equal to B cross A. Unless a is equal to b, clear my point. Now, if a cross b is equal to pi, pi means null set. It means null set. Okay, empty set. So, if a cross b is equal to null null set or empty set, when when it will be when one or both. One or both of A and B are empty set. That is empty okay, set, Yes. That is empty set. Yes, empty set. Null set means empty set. Okay. Yes. If I am using this symbol, it means this is empty set, null set, void set. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Now one more condition is there. If A cross B is not equal to null set, it means if and only if, if A set is not empty set and B is also not empty set. Okay? Okay. Now if A and B are finite set, finite means that can be counted. Right? Right? That may be counted. So number of elements in A cross B will be equal to number of elements in A into number of B. As in previous question we did, right? Yes. When A elements were one, two, three, and elements of B were three, three, three. right? Three, four. So number of element in A cross B it will be three into two. So it will it was six. Understood my point? This. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So if A and B are non-empty set and A or B is infinite, if one set, yeah, out of the both sets, if one set is infinite, then their Cartesian product is also infinite. Understood my point? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Dhanunjay understood? Yes. Jaswan? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, children, see, if we have to find the Cartesian product of three sets, A cross B cross C. So, you can write like this, na? A, B, A comma B comma C, such that A belongs to capital E, B belongs to capital B, and C belongs to capital C set. So, suppose if, uh, for example, suppose if we are taking 1, 2, 3 and A, B, C. Right? Or you can take any other example. We can take short one. Suppose in A set you are taking 1. B set you are taking B. And C set you are taking T. Okay? So three elements are there. So A cross B cross C. So you will write like this na? A comma B comma T. Where 1 belongs to A. B at two belongs to B belongs to capital B and T belongs to C. Understood this thing, beta? How you will write? Yes, ma'am. And uh, number of elements in, in this set A cross B cross C Cartesian product it will be 
How many elements? Three. One. One. Because you will count this one comma V comma T as one element only. Clear? This is your one element. So one cross one cross one. Because in A, one element is there. In B also one and C is also. Because this ordered pair is count as only one. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Dhanunjay, Jaswant. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, for example, see. If an ordered pair, if an ordered pair, x minus 1 comma, y plus 3 and 2 comma, x plus Okay, are equal, are equal, then find, then find X and Y. So, Preetha, how yes, we can solve it? If an order is there. And here condi we have got the condition that these are equal. Yes, so, according to the question, you will put them equal. X minus 1 y plus 3. So, this is your only one element, right? Is yes. equal to 2 comma x plus 4. Yes. Just put equal sign in between them. Yes, yes ma'am. Now, we can do x minus 1 x plus 0. Yes. And now, just compare them. First element with first element, second element with second. So, x minus 1 will be equal to 2 <laughs> and y plus 3 will be equal to 4. x, x plus, plus 4. 4. Right. So now calculate the value of x. It will be 3, three beta. Yes, and three. value of y will be x value is 3, 3 plus 4 minus 3. So value of y will be understood? Yes, ma'am. Dhanunjay, Jaswan, understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Please note it down it. When are your classes not there? Uh, tomorrow and day after tomorrow. Okay, ma'am. Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Three okay, days. But I will upload homework and your test as well, okay? Okay, ma'am. And on Friday's test, you will get the questions from this relation and function chapter only. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Now, suppose suppose if uh, next example, if P is equal to not P, A is equal to If A is equal to ordered pair is P comma Q and B set is X such that X belongs to natural number and X is a prime number. X is a prime number. Prime number less than 6. Less than 6. Okay. So, first of all, yes, just one, unmute yourself. The first one is P and Q, no? Yes. So, A set is P, comma Q. Just one, unmute yourself. Yes. Just tell me B set. Two, three. 2, 3, 5. 2, 3, 5. Yes. 2, 3, 5. So now we have to make, we have to find the Cartesian product. So how will you find? 
A into B. B. Two P. B, comma two. Then B comma three. 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 Then B comma five. Then take Q component. Q comma two. Then Q comma two. Q comma three. Three. And Q comma five. Five. Understood? Dhanunjay, Pritam, Jaswan. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, next question. Now, Dhanunjay, unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. See, madam, one question is there that express. x comma y such that x plus 3y is equal to 20 where x comma y belongs to natural number. So natural number is there Dhanunja? Right? Yes. Yeah. So what you will do here? We have given here linear equation. Right? Yes. You have given a linear equation. So, first of all, we will solve this linear equation. See, x plus 3y is equal to 20. So, first of all, put y is equal to 1 because x and y both are natural number. So, natural number starts with 1 only. Then x plus 3 will be 20. Then value of x will be 70. 17. 1 and yeah. 70. Yes. yes, the order pair I will write at the last. Then put the value of y as 2. Then x plus 6 14. is equal to 20. Then value 14. of x will be? 14. 20 minus 6. 14. 14. Then put y is equal to 3. x plus 9 is equal to 20. 11. Then it will be 11. 11. So your yes. ordered pair will be? 1 comma 17 comma 1 14 comma 2 yes 11, 1 comma 17 17 2, comma 14 Mom, 17, oh, sorry comma. yes 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 you are saying correct we have to write x coordinate first right yes so it will be 17 comma 1 then 14 comma 2 and 11 comma 3 or you can find few of them okay understood beta Yes, ma'am. Suppose, beta, if I will ask you, suppose if A is equal to 1, comma 2 and B is 2, comma 3 and C is 0, then find a cross B cross C. Pritam? 1 comma 2. Just wait. Yes, just wait. A is equal to. Yes, Pritam, tell me A is equal to A cross B cross C we have to find. So, just tell me the ordered pair. First, we should write 1 comma 2. Yes, 1 comma 2 comma 0, right? Yes, ma'am. Then And then comma... second will be? 1 comma 3 comma 0. 1 comma 3 comma 0, right. Then next one. Then. Pritam 10. 2. Then 0. Next will be. 2 comma 2. 2 comma, 2 comma 1 comma 3. But uh, in B said there is no one element, na? So, you will take only 2. So, 2 comma 2 comma 0. zero. Right, Pritam? Now, next is Pritam? Next is 3 comma uh, 2 comma 0. 2 comma 3 comma 0. zero. Because, first of all, you have to write the elements of A only. Uh, yes, ma'am. Right? Yes. As we are finding Cartesian product of ABC. So, in this order only, we have to write the ordered pair. Yes. First the element of A, then element of B, and then element of C. C. Clear, beta? Oh, yes. 
Okay. The next will be. Now, only these elements will be there. Four. One, one more. See, see. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Finish, na? Yes, ma'am. Because A is having two elements, right? Now, next is. Yes, Dhanujay, unmute yourself. If A is equal to minus 1, comma 1, then find A cross A cross A. Tell me, Dhanunjay. Minus 1, comma minus 1. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Just wait, Pritam. Yes, Dhanunjay, tell me. No, minus 1, comma minus 1, comma minus 1. Minus one comma minus one comma minus one. Okay. Then next is one comma one comma one. Sorry, one comma minus one. Comma minus one. One. Ma'am, minus one comma one comma one. Okay. Next is one comma minus one comma minus one. One comma. Why one comma? We have to start with A only, no, beta? Um, minus one, right? Minus one, comma one. Just write the elements like this. Minus one, comma, minus one. Then uh, A set again. Minus one, comma, minus one. Then uh, A set again. Minus one, comma, minus one. Now make the ordered pair. Then it will be more clear. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Dhanunjay? Dhanunjay? Jaswant? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Tell me the last one. One more is left. Not one more, there are so many. There should be eight. Yes, eight. See, one. I'm writing A cross A cross A once again. See, first element will be minus one, minus one, minus one. Got it? Then second will be minus one, minus one, one. Clear? Minus one, minus one, minus one. Now, minus one, minus one, one. Understood? Now, take one. Clear? Got in my point? Minus one, one, minus one. Clear? Now, next is minus one, one, minus one. Now, next will be minus one, one, one. Then, one, minus one, minus one. Then, one, minus one, one. Then 1, 1, minus 1. And then last is minus 1. Minus. This is minus 1. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Last one is left. So last will be 1, 1. Clear, beta? Understood? Dhanunjay, Pritam, Jaswant? Yes. Okay. So children now. Okay. So on today on daily basis I will upload homework and your test as well. On Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Kindly attempt your test and do your homework daily. Okay, beta? Okay. Okay. Bye, beta. Thank you, Mama. Have a nice day. Good evening, Peter. Bye. Thank you so much.